Trascope Hotel issues a 10 billion naira bond. And the CBN rejects request by the FRCN as council didn't follow due process. And the NNPC opts for direct sale, direct purchase of crude oil. Finally, MTN Airtel renews license for the sum of $202.2 million. Hello, you are watching BTVA's Business Nigeria, and I am Tunji Andrews. And Transcorp Hotels PLC has announced the successful Naira bond market transaction, issuing a total of 10 billion Naira. The proceeds of the issue will be used to finance an upgrade uh, of the company's hotel and uh, that's Transcorp Hilton Abuja and the construction of a multi purpose banquet center. Now, the Central Bank of Nigeria, the CBN, has rejected the request of the Financial Reporting Council of Nigeria uh, that it took disciplinary, uh, that it takes disciplinary action against Stambik IBTC Holding Company PLC, uh, saying that the council failed to follow due process in the matter. Uh, to this end, the Central Bank has said that it does not see any reason to advise or compel Stambik IBTC to comply with the sanctions meted to, out to it by the FRCN. Now, let's take a look at the markets with Tosi Olasende. Uh, Tosi, uh, basically, who are the gainers and losers of today's market? Interesting day on the market today with over 180 million shares changing hands. The all share index traded in positive territory midday. However, the laggards dragged it down by about one tenth of a percent to close at 29,000. 32 index points. Some of the key movers today are Nigerian bureaus. It lost 54 Kobo to close at 136 Naira. Mobile, Mobile lost 15 Naira to close at 138.99 Kobo. Nestle, Nestle lost 7 Naira to close at 814 Naira. We also have Stanbeck. Stanbeck gained 94 Kobo to close at 19 Naira. 85 cover talking about Stanbeck, you know today the cbn released a five-page document detailing that it rejects frc's request to take action against Stanbeck as it failed to consult the central bank throughout the process of its investigation the cbn governor mr amy Fiala, he said that the step taken by frcn is capable of eroding investors confidence and this is very critical to the financial system stability that stock gained about 4.99 percent to close at 19 naira 85 cover it is interesting to note that subsequent to when the news between frcn and stambic hit the market stambic lost about 20 percent of its share price now with this new news from cbn we can see an improved sentiment and that stock getting a lift i guess we have to see it towards the end of the week as to how it performs let's take a quick look at our best performing stock our key performance for the day is oando oando gained 7.22 percent to close at six naira 97 cobble you know when Orlando's resort hit the news wave it lost about 47 percent of its market price i mean it went all the way from about 10 naira to close at six naira now this week alone it has gained 16.4 percent this is our best performing stock for the week it has seen a continuous gain for the three consecutive days. Currently now at 16 naira, um, at currently trading at 6 naira 99 cobble and also narrowed its loss of 47 naira that was subsequent to the release of its result to 30.27%. Also on our best performing stock, we have Guinness Nigeria. It gained 4.99 cobble. We have Stambic gaining 4.97 cobo and we also have UACN. UACN gained 4.97 cobo and you know last week UACN released a weaker than expected result considering the difficult trading environment it is in. You know market reacted to that and it dropped 4.9 percent. Today we have seen a gain of 4.97 percent completely eroding the 4.99 percent loss it saw when it, the result hit the market but it's also worthy to note that prior to that result release that market has that stock has been declining so i guess now the market players are asking maybe they find this price you know a, a good enough 
um, balance or a support level. But I guess we, have to, we also have to see how that plays out. Our worst performing stocks, we have Mobile. Mobile lost 9.75%. Fitzin lost 9.68%, UPDP lost 5%, Qtix lost 5%, and Unilever lost 4.98%. So that is it from me, Oluwa Tosin, Ola Sende from the Equity Desk. Now, thanks, Tose. Back to the top stories. About 18 days after the opening of the technical bid submitted by 101 companies for the consideration in its uh, crude oil offshore processing agreement, that's the OPA, uh, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, the NNPC, on Tuesday disclosed that it had abandoned the OPA arrangement and opted for a direct sale, direct purchase uh, for the crude oil and its products with identified refineries uh, across the world. Also, the Nigerian Communications Commission has approved the renewal and consequent extension of the tenure of MTN's operating spectrum in the 900 megahertz and 1,800 megahertz frequency bands uh, and that of the Airtel Nigeria Limited for the sum of $202.2 million. Uh, the new licenses will expire in 2021, uh, consolidate the digital mobile licenses and or unified access licenses that the two pioneer global system uh, of mobile communication operators obtained from the Nigerian Communications Commission in 2001 and 2006, respectively. And those are the stories we are following on Business Nigeria today. Join us tomorrow for more updates. Until then, keep doing business, Nigeria. <laughs>